It's a mailbag here on NFL Daily, which you probably knew from the headline. But first up, from Tony, what do the Chiefs need to figure out next? Uh, how to uh, hit, copy, paste, do it again? I don't know. I think the Chiefs at this point, like we know they will always be a contender. I don't know. Keep everyone healthy. Keep Mahomes healthy. Maybe that's the biggest thing there. I, I think overall, left tackle in terms of who starts for you, you know, is you, you have three different top like 90 draft picks or 95 draft picks on your roster right now at tackle as opposite Juwan Taylor, Lucas Niang, Wanya Morris, and Kingsley Sumataya. Is it Sumataya? They probably got to figure out what the hell is going on with Rasheed Rice out there. And probably a lot of long-term planning of, like, okay, how do we replace this guy, this guy? Because you'll lose pieces. That's how it goes as, as the Super Bowl champion. But uh, they're in pretty good shape, let's be honest. C Sporty, will the Lions sign or trade for a big-name receiver before the regular season begins? I, I'm a little surprised they kind of didn't do anything at wide receiver this year. Obviously, I love Amon Ross St. Brown. They have an elite tight end in San Laporta who helps, you know, the two unique playmakers to kind of lead your offense there. I am excited about Jamison Williams. You still got to replace a lot of targets and snaps from Josh Reynolds that can't all go to St. Brown, Laporta, and Williams. So maybe, maybe they're high on Donovan Peoples-Jones. Possible. Is, is Khalif Raymond going to be more than a gadget player? I wouldn't get my hopes up there. So I wonder if the Lions window is passed, but I think that does make some sense. From Mike Nintendo Master, will the Falcons falcon it in the 2025 NFL draft? You know, I, I didn't like the Ruka Roro pick. I liked a lot of the other things they did beyond once they got past uh, the, the Penix angle there. So I I hope not, but yeah, the, uh, the, the, the Falcons memes are not going to die. So if you're a Falcons fan watching, I, I apologize for Mike. But, you know, I, I still think that they're going to really need to add some pieces uh, in the draft and not go quarterback again for a, hopefully a very, very, very long time. Andrew, can the Saints, the Saints can trade dudes like Alvin Kamar and Marshawn Lattimore, but will they? Uh, I don't think they're president OTAs, by the way, which you know, seems noteworthy. I don't think so, though. Um, the Saints still think they can win games and be a contender. I don't agree with them. I wonder if this is the, the last hurrah for Alvin Kamara in New Orleans. They didn't really touch his contract right there. Um, you know, maybe if they're bad to open up the year, they'll reconsider some things. But this GM, Mickey Loomis, wants to win games now. He's got great job security. He's going to keep being crazy aggressive in the end. So will the Saints trade Alvin Kamar? The pin comment on today's show. Why for yes and for no at the pin comment of this video. 30 racks. Tom, please tell me some teams that would take Bradbury. Otherwise, I'm going to have to give up, uh, have to give up for Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I wouldn't get your hope. I, maybe somebody does. You know, maybe what you do is you hold on to him until further into the, into the camp and someone gets injured. And you shop him, the money's kind of an issue. Uh, the, I, I, in general, I love what Howie Roseman does. I love the aggression that he does stuff with. This is one of the possible downsides where you felt good about keeping James Ware because he had played great. And you're like, this is going to be a key corner for us. And then he was bad. And now the contract is, is, is an issue. The contract would not be a problem if the player was good. The player's not playing well. So maybe somebody flips you a, a, a late day three pick. You know, Howie is, is a trade genius over there. So I wouldn't rule it out, but I also would maybe not get my hopes up that high either. From Drake Games, well, look, Kendrick won. Uh, will DK get traded to the Steelers? I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to throw some shade at my guy, uh, uh, Jack Sperry here. He's been convinced all season. Steelers are going are gonna to get a star receiver. It's going to happen. going to happen. I kind of don't think it's going to. Um, you know, again, maybe something surprising changes. I don't think Ayuk's going to get dealt. Debo kind of doesn't fit what I think they're looking for, and maybe he doesn't get dealt either. I don't think a trade happens. This I, I think like Seattle wants to new regime. They want to see how Geno plays. Maybe give Sam Howell a shot late in the year if Geno's bad or something. They don't normally trade away talented young wide receivers, and I, I think at this or you know DK isn't even that young anymore. 
in terms of like how much he has left in the tank, uh, how, how much better he can get. He's been about a perennial thousand yard receiver. So if that's like the ceiling, that's really good. Um, you know, he had, people are like he had a down year last year. I'm like, he caught a thousand and a thousand pass y uh, yards on only 66 grabs. Could have gotten the ball even more. I, I think he's still a super, I think he's still a great player. I think he's just kind of at his plateau, which is thousand yards every year. That, that's good. Now, today's show is made possible by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is daily fantasy made easy. With Prize Picks, you could turn $10 into $1,000 in a single game watching your favorite sports this summer. Prize Picks has you covered every week with different promotions from lowering player stat projections on Tuesdays, which angry chance of getting a win, to getting your entry freeze back if you have a losing lineup on Fridays. Over 5 million active members. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app, and they'll give you a first deposit match up to $100 when you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS. I always like the flex plays. It's a key part of, of my Prize Picks plan. Uh, it's, you can get one wrong, still come out on top. My season-long Prize Picks looks like this. Mahomes passing yards, Dak passing yards, Lamb receiving touchdowns, and Micah sacks. All those numbers, the, the projected prize pick stats there, are far less than what they did last year. If they stay healthy, they're going to hit it. So give me the more than on that. So download the app today at prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy with prize picks. Gavin Powell, since the Giants are in need of cornerback help, could they go out and sign maybe Stephon Gilmore, Xavier Howard, Patrick Peterson, Steven Nelson, a veteran that would help Deontay Banks? Honestly, I, I wouldn't be that mad if they just brought back Adoree Jackson. There's actually several good corners out there uh, on the open market. My answer is yes. Um, I, I think adding a veteran makes a lot of sense for New York. Take your pick. Maybe Xavier Howard would fit the defense decently. If you really want the, the vet mentor side of it, I think Patrick Peterson could be an intriguing fit too. Although maybe he goes back and plays safety. I, I, I think cornerback help would be smart. From Mike with the Chiefs trade for Debo Samuel. Do you guys remember when the NBA vetoed the Chris Paul trade? I, I think the NFL might have to veto the a Debo trade. Debo's not the guy that he was. That's why he's potentially available. The injuries have kind of added up, I think, a little bit there, and injury concerns remain. But, my God, all that weird backfield motion shit that the Chiefs do and, like, the jet sweeps, instead of giving it to Miko Hardman and Kadarius Toney, now it goes to Debo Samuel? That's just not fair. So I, I, I hope not, frankly. From Platinum Edition, it, it, it took me a second to read that, uh, Chance Simmons ends up in New Orleans. It's the Saints, so even though they never have any money, and then all of a sudden they always do because they get how to manage the cap. Uh, never say never. It does, it does make sense, though, right? Because there's Tyron Matthew and the guy sold on Jordan Howden? Going to give a bunch of, uh, you know, Will Harris or Alante Taylor going to try out at, at safety maybe? Um, not, not an outlandish idea and one that I would think fit the win now mold for the Saints. From Sawyer, why are players like Xavier Howard or Justin Simmons not signed? It's a great question. Uh, Howard might be because of the injury status there. Sometimes as these players get older, the NFL's not as high on them. And NFL's ageist. They don't like old people. They're like, get out of here. We're, we're going to go with the young, cheaper guy. Um, so I think age is a factor there. It's kind of what Stefan Gilmore said. He wasn't wrong when he said that either. Um, I think the timing has been a little tricky as well. You know, Howard's coming off injury. Maybe Simmons wants to wait more till, till training camp. Uh, but it's a potential red flag. Like, hey, why, why aren't those guys signed yet? Why? Maybe the NFL is not as high on them as us as fans slash media is. Now, who do you think is the best NFL free agent left unsigned? Go ahead and sound off in the comments section for me right now. From EV, hi, I think Kellen should trade Miles Sanders and Terrace Marshall to the Colts for a fourth and seventh round pick. I don't think you can get a fourth for, 
for, for those guys. In fact, if you get a seventh for both of them, I think that'd probably be a pretty big win for Carolina because you're getting the Sanders contract off your books, which I think right now is a net negative asset, and Terrace Marshall has been a pretty big disappointment. From that one Falcons fan, Falcons is unthinkable. Potentially win the Super Bowl. We have the offense. The defense is sufficient as long as we get a vet corner and Stephon Gilmore at Bengals defensive and Hendrickson. So bad news first off, you're not going to get Hendrickson. He is already back at Bengals OTAs. His trade demand lasted like two weeks. It, and it was the most obvious, this is not happening, trade demand. It was a, I want a new deal. If you're not going to give me a new deal, you should trade me or I will hold out or I will retire. Because nothing says, uh, you know, legitimate trade demand and extension demand like I will not take any money instead, <laughs> you know? So he, he's not available. Um, it's also kind of why I would have loved to think like Dallas Turner at edge, like, oh, because he feel good about it. Can he maybe add a vet like Unique Ngakwe? Maybe that helps you out as, as a pure pass rusher. I'd like the idea of adding a vet corner, though, as well. They should win. The, they, they, they can win the NFC South. They'll probably be favored to, to do it. And then they're, the, then they're in the dance, and who knows? What could happen then? Davo 98, pick a Super Bowl matchup. The Chiefs just feel... Chiefs-Niners is probably your betting favorite, but that's boring. I don't want to go with the rematch, so I'll pick two entirely new teams here. Um, give me the Ravens to get over the hump in the AFC. How about... Screw it. Let's go with the Lions. I have little confidence in that, but at least it's fun. And if you guys enjoy our NFL mailbags then subscribe. The only way to be a part is to join the live shows on Mondays and Thursdays. Hit that, or Tuesdays and Thursdays. Jesus, I forget what day you're on sometimes. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. From Tony, what are the possibilities of Chiefs to keep Miko Hardman? Is it more likely they'll keep him on the roster or trade? Well, Hardman actually is a free agent right now. He was not brought back by KC. It's, it, it's Xavier Worthy, Hollywood Brown, Rasheed Rice, Justin Watson, Sky Moore, uh, Kadarius Toney, and maybe Justin Ross, who the fantasy people are in shambles right now about that because they were convinced he was going to be a star. Anyway, um, so I, I think he'll go somewhere else. Maybe he gets brought back if the Rasheed Rice suspension is super long, but Chiefs also might give Sky Moore one last chance. For Poppy Chulo sits, any other DTs available for trade outside of Jonathan Allen for the Bears? Probably are some. Um, it might not be the biggest of names. You know, maybe even like a John Ridgeway is available as a backup lineman for the Commanders or a Fidarian Mathis since they want to keep Allen. Um, I don't know if any star DTs are available, at least for now. Can always revisit around the trade deadline. You know, maybe a team's struggling. They're not playing well. They're going to shop some stuff then. Maybe trade deadline might, ends up making more sense for Chicago. From Martin, if the Cowboys aren't going to pay C.D. Lamb or Micah, why not trade one? Remember how the Cowboys operate. They don't pay, don't pay, don't pay. Then they pay later on and pay more. So I, I think they'll get deals done for all those guys. Dak, we'll see. But C.D. Lamb, I think that deal gets done around training camp. Micah Parsons gets done next year around training camp. And Dallas will pay a premium for those two players because it's hard to trade away a top five receiver and, a top, and or a top five edge when you've won 12 games three years in a row. It's not like you're an actually bad football team. You know? Now, the playoff results are, are bad. The team isn't bad. I think you can also argue that Lamb and Micah, given their age and contracts, are probably among the most valuable non-QBs in the NFL. You know, players like Miles Garrett, you know, Nick Bosa up in San Francisco, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, who uh, maybe it's Sertan and, and Sauce Gardner, maybe Panay Sewell too. Who is the most valuable non-QB in the NFL? Go ahead and vote in the comments. One more here from EV. Should Minnesota trade for Sertan? I don't, they genuinely do not have the draft capital. Unless they want to give away Justin Jefferson, which they shouldn't do. Um, I think Sertan, who also I think works well for that uh, most valuable non QB question, he's going to get a bag. He'll be the highest paid corner in NFL history, and he's worth every penny of it. So I wouldn't get your hopes up for a trade for, for him.